Welcome back to the Leaf Law Revolution Guide. In this guide, we're talking about BLC farming. Now, there are different ways of BLC farming depending on your progression. So we're going to be talking about the most effective way and efficient ways of getting BLC in your level of progression. So let's start with your first couple of BLCs. When you're doing your first, second, third, fourth BLCs, there are a couple of ways that you can maximize the amount of BLC that you'll be able to get. The first way is when you're on your first BLC. I recommend going straight for the exotic shop and not BLCing straight away once you've unlocked it, as this will give you a lot more BLC when you first uh, at BLC. Uh, something else to keep in mind is that it is recommended to have at least one level into BLC science per flask, and make sure you've got all your levels into BLC science and BLC++ as well. Once you've done that, and you're up to the next level of progression, which is the Celestial Plane or Mythical Garden area of progression, there are some other options that come available for you that you need to make sure that you have equipped or have active to have the maximum amount of BLC gain there is. Then the first one is going to be in Pets. We want to make sure that we have Foxo enabled, or enabled, which is going to give us 200% BLC rewards. Another thing is we need to go to Unique Leaves and make sure we have the Ghost Leaf enabled or active, meaning that we get another 500% increase to our BLC rewards. It is also around this stage that we unlock Offline BLC. Offline BLC is a great way of gaining BLC and it is also effective because you farm it offline. So it only takes a couple of 24-hour time skips or 72 to uh, our time skips to get all the way up through that progression through mythical leaves, celestial leaves, all the way up to the tower. There are some other upgrades that you would need to keep in mind, which is going to be in the gem shop, which is going to be your offline BLC, which is going to be in the offline tab right here, offline crunches and offline BLC here. It is recommended that you have these upgrades here, but if you don't, it doesn't matter because there are those the offline BLC upgrades are in the BLC shop. I want to scroll down all the way up to offline crunches and offline BLC. These cost around a couple of million BLC and will drastically increase the amount of BLC that you will get, especially because it is offline. Once you get a couple levels in here, it's going to be a great time for BLC. Now the next layer of progression for BLC farming is going to be farming with artifacts. We were got mainly going to be farming Orb BLC. The Orb of BLC gives you 5% of your current BLC amount, meaning that if you had 100 BLC and you used this artifact, you'll now have 105 BLC. Now this comes down to artifact farming. Now there are multiple ways to get artifact farming. And it also depends on which level of progression. Are you farming artifacts before the uh, reaching per, uh, tower floor 100, or are you doing it before or after? But if you're doing it before, the only ways you can increase your artifact offline timer or rate is going to be in the gem shop with, with offline artifacts. And if you're doing it online artifact farming, you're going to be needing faster artifacts. This is also good for offline and also super duper uh, durable artifacts, which is going to increase the dur duration of artifacts by 500%. If you're past tower, fl uh, yeah, tower floor 100 and you've MLC'd, you're going to go to the BLC MLC shop and you're going to be wanting to get as many upgrades as the fast artifacts and offline artifacts as you can, as this will dramatically increase the amount of uh, BLC orbs that you're able to get ultimately getting you more BLC. Some other things that you want to do to increase the amount of offline artifacts you, that you are getting are going to be in the gem shop. And this is going to be better pets, which is going to increase your pet bonuses by 30%. You're also wanting to go into the scrolls and get the pet scroll, which also increases pet bonuses by 20%. Another thing that you're going to make sure you need to have equipped is going to be Flocko, as Flocko is going to reduce artifact spawn time by 20%, which is going to be really good as it's going to give you a lot of offline artifacts. Now, some other pets that you're going to want to have equipped is going to be Butterflyo, as this will buff all other pets that you have active by 20% as well.
To show you the difference between having Flocko enabled and not enabled, I'm going to just do a time skip now of 72 hours. And we'll see at the top here that we only got 221 for the BLCs. But if we go back to my pets and I equip Flocko up here, if I can find Flocko, give me a second, here it is. And we do another 72 hour time skip. We can see that we have now 3.67 E4 BLC, which is dramatically a lot more BLC than we got before, meaning that make sure you have Flocko enabled and active when you do time skip to farm of your artifacts. That is all for today. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below and make sure you like and subscribe as well. I'll see you in the next one.